as it stands, we've just got the very basics going on for our navigator. For example, our header title here is just using the name of this screen. We can go ahead and customize it by passing an options object to the actual screen component. And inside of here, we can go ahead and pass the options. Now these options are all outlined in React Navigation's stack documentation, but one, for example, for this header title, we can go ahead and add an option of header title. And inside of here, we can specify whatever we want the title to be. In this case, we'll name it context. And you can see we've gone ahead and changed this. Now, what if we want to use the user's name for the actual header title? Well, just like we, uh, well, just like on a screen where we have access to route, we have that information available to us in options as well. So what we can do is pass an options param or prop to the screen. And now rather than returning an object, what we can do is actually return a function. Inside of this function, we're going to have options in which we have access to navigation and route. And using that route information, we can go ahead and return a header title that's based on the route.params.name.first. So now if we look at this, we can go ahead and click a user. And we can see we're not actually seeing that data. So let's go ahead and just return a header title that's an empty string. And we can go ahead and log what our route actually looks like. Now if we click through to our screen, we can see we've got route.params.contact and then we can access the name and so on. So we can say down here, route.params.contact.name.first. We click through, and we can see we've got that first name showing up. We can go ahead and use the first and last name by using string interpolation. Go ahead and copy all of this. And we can also return the user's last name. Now when we click through, we can see the user's first and last name in the header bar. Now, say you want to make a customization that affects all of the headers or all of the navigators in this stack, in our contact stack. Well, rather than having to create an option for each one, we can go ahead and use a prop on our navigator itself called screen options in which we can go ahead and use the same options that an individual screen takes, we can go ahead and customize them in our screen options. We'll use those as a default, and then we can go ahead and override them on a per screen basis. So let's say we want the header background color to be different. We could say the background color is now going to be red. And rather than actually using header background, which allows us to write a completely custom header, uh, which we're not going to do here, we can use header style. And this header style, we can go ahead and pass an object in which we can set the background color. We can set this to red. And you can see here we've got a header with red. We can go over here and we can see we've got a header with red still. We can then go ahead and override that on a per screen basis by going to our options for an individual screen, set the header style, and we can go ahead and set the background color to green. Now if we go to our details screen, you can see we've got that green header, and then on the original screen we've got the customized default header. Obviously, I don't wanna to have to look through that for the rest of this course, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove those options. But any of the options that are available to you in the documentation for the stack navigator are going to be customized via the options and the screen options.